This is the mini version of the Kinex Motorized Madness Ball Machine. I downloaded the instructions in a PDF format from the Kinex website. I have included the link in the description below. This model has just one path for the balls. The full size version has three paths and I have included the link for that in the description box below. The majority of the model is made from micro Kinex parts together with some classic parts. Since the micro connects pieces are not very strong, I added some extra parts around the motor to beef it up a little bit. Just a couple of pieces in here. I would also recommend that the motor not be installed until everything is finished, since it made everything top heavy and very unstable. It fell over a couple of times. Also, if the chain jams on something, the motor rips everything apart. It's best to test the ball lift me mechanism manually. Here is how to remove the motor so it can be tested. First remove these three parts from the outside here. Next pull the rod out of the support so the motor can be pulled out. Then pull the motor out and put the motor back in the support. There we go. Now you can manually test that everything is okay. The problem I had was this forward, this forward and when it came up as you can see it jammed right on here and the motor pulled so much that it ripped apart everything in this area. So much easier to do everything manually, oh, still catching, everything manually, make sure that everything is going, put a ball on, lift it up, make sure that everything works fine, doesn't catch on anything, flips it over. Now that I've adjusted everything the way it should be, it doesn't jam anymore, and I've positioned this in the right way, so when it goes over it flicks the ball. If I had the motor on there, it would have jammed and ripped everything apart. Now that I've adjusted everything, I can put the motor back. Flip the motor over here. Put it in the support. It has to be pushed in to grab the, grab the motor. And then just put the gray connector, the blue connector, and the end stop to hold everything together. And that's it back together again.